so it must be shave day. Let me lock the bathroom door in case I get uh, disturbed. So today, a treat especial. I've pre-shaved already with the um, ProRasso uh, wipe pre-shave. It says anti-irritation, it's for sensitive skin. Still got quite a menthol kick to it. It's a white, a very light cream. So you just take a couple of dabs on your fingers, rub it in while you're preparing the rest of your uh, shave gear. The rest of my shave gear today. We've got my Kent Best Badger brush. My uh, Etsy uh, dimpled custom made shaving bowl. A lady from, or a, a couple from Etsy made it for me. Anyone wants a link, I'll give you the link. And the soap today is going to be uh, De Vergulda Hand. It's one of the cheapest soaps I've got. It was 1.79 euros. Uh, you can whip that out in dollars, not very many, less than two dollars. And uh, <coughs> for that price, it's a fantastic soap. The other things we're going to be using is the um, Dr. Harris Skin Tonic and a Dr. Harris Bay Rum After Shave. It's a really nice uh, light bay rum, uh, quite long lasting, really good, really good bay rum smell. So we're going to be using both of those. Um, today's razor is the one from Art Razor, a Ukrainian maker, Yuri Kravchenko. I've given you some nice close-ups, but here you go again. This is an 8 8 razor. It's a, I would say it's, it's either a quarter hollow or ne very near to a full wedge. Quarter hollow, I would say. Beautiful, <laughs> what the hell was that? Beautiful blade, 8 8 smiling blade, and uh, let's get it stropped up, and then we'll start to build some lather and we'll go. So, stropping. I'm gonna do 25, litter and 25. Lather. done always wipe your blade off after you've stropped or else you're gonna get it covered in little bits of leather there's a fine leather dust that comes off the surface of the strop so I've got my uh, difficult hand soap I've bloomed it for about a minute in some warm water and poured the warm water off as I say I've got the pro so pre-shave on I'm gonna start building getting some leather on my uh, on my brush tips then I'm gonna move across to the bowl once that's done and finally build this lather up. So, give me 20, 30 seconds just to get enough soap on the brush. We'll move over to the bowl. I'll probably speed this up and uh, we can get straight on with the shave. You can see there, it builds a little bit of a lather, but it, what it's really doing is coating the brush tips with, with soap. So when I transfer it to my lather bowl, I can really build that lather hard and get some um, get some additional moisture into it. Okay, I think I've got enough. So let's just put a little bit, just dampen your lather bowl, pour it out, and the residual slickness in the lather, the residual uh, wet in the lather bowl will help that build. If you do need to add more water, just add a few drops. No big deal. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. You can see that's really building, building fast now. And this uh, the Gulda Hand's got a very, you know, pleasing soap smell. There's nothing too special or fancy about it. It's just a really fantastic soap. It's got a good, um, good residual slickness. And uh, as I say, when I was in, I was in Holland on business. I needed to get some. I wanted to buy some of this and I saw it in the supermarket at 179 I bought five parts. I gave two away to uh, some fellow shavers and kept three for myself. It should last me a while. Okay, we're starting to get some real 
real nice uh, lather there now. So let's just spend another 20 seconds on this and then we'll lather up. Okay, we're done. I'm just going to wipe my face a little bit here. Some, um, sorry, wet my face a little bit and get some moisture on it. lift a bit more lather out there. First pass I always like to have, try and have quite a bit of lather. There we are. So again it's an art razor 8-8. It's a beauty of a razor. Let's get cracking. Slamming through those whiskers, There's only a couple of days growth, but anyway. This razor is just annihilating them. Okay guys, look, left hand. My son was watching a shaving video. The last one I made and he made a note on the stupid faces that you pull when you're trying to get your shave. I don't know what it is, but it's like some real horrible gurning goes on. But I think you need to, you need to be able to stretch your skin in order to shave properly without getting cut. Lovely. Remember fellas, zero pressure, beard reduction, not beard annihilation, definitely not face annihilation. more than once to reduce the beard on a given area you don't expect it all to come off at once again guys it's an 8-8 my nose is still there Just beautiful. Okay, let's get a rinse, second lather.
today is just going to be, I think, a sneaky little two pads. I don't need to go across today. Not so much growth, but... So this next one is a um, against the grain pass. Be my final pass. If there's any touch-ups to do, I'll do them afterwards. So it goes. You notice you can do that uh, kind of J-hook effect if you're careful. Arch kind of like that. And it helps get the bits of, you know, that growth under your chin that grows in a funny direction. Helps with that fantastically. If you check out the uh, Art Razor site, they, they do a whole lot of different razors. I'm sure it can't be just Yuri, it must be a whole collective of people. They do some fantastic blades. This won't be the last one that I've bought. Doing good. Gotta concentrate on this head, guys. I'll cut my bloody nose off. Remember, it's not a race. It's something you should enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'll do one more uh, against the green pass here, just to finish that off and get myself a really slick lather. Very light touch. You can hear that there's almost nothing coming off.
Um, I probably won't need to shave until Saturday now, this is so, so close. It, we're done. So I'm gonna have a quick rinse down. I'll show you what I'm gonna do in the um, after shave department. Make sure there's no soap stuffed inside my ears. So first layer first treatment is this um skin tonic no idea what's in it like it a couple of splashes of that on your hands i think it's got a bit of witch hazel in it but hard to tell no sting whatsoever it is fantastic and the next layer up is going to be a Nice Dr. Harris Bay Rum Aftershave. And this is really, I love this stuff. A couple of shakes on the old paws. Oh, yeah. Well, that's barber shot, I'm telling you. Okay, men. Ladies, if there's any watching, ever. I don't know. Um. <coughs> So, see you on Saturday. I've got a fantastic blade on Saturday, Victor Creazzi, um 6.8, I think it's 6.8, maybe even bigger. I'll measure it. It's a full hollow blade anyway, beautiful. Okay guys, thank you.